<laughs> oh god. <laughs> but it's working. When I saw that you can actually place blocks with vacuum pumps, I wanted to do something more with it. For example, if I were to put these blocks on a conveyor belt, I should be able to build a factory. See? Now I just need to choose a form that I want to mass produce. I think we are going to spread love today. The first problem is that blocks are going to be placed on the conveyor belt, which leads to these issues. My solution is to place two blocks, then delete one block and it falls down. Well, I was thinking of using a saw blade for that, but yeah, it doesn't work. Take that cardboard! Yay! Even my car at full speed can't destroy cardboard. However, a spot gun can destroy cardboard. Luckily, I can get a mountable spot gun. The problem is that I don't really have a far. On the other hand, if you do loads of grinding like me, you'll also find loads of crops. While loading red beets into this thing, I've noticed that I could just use those vacuum pumps to shoot potatoes instead. So I only need now a bunch of large chests. Did I already mention that I hate clam diving? However, you also find these glow bugs underwater. And guess what they do? Mmm, they eat all this cardboard. So, if I lure one of these things all the way to my base, I could spare myself the potatoes. Wow, I can just pick them up. So the glow bug will only destroy cardboards in this radius. Seriously, an undestroyable clam? <sighs> That's like my worst nightmare. Oh! Well, <laughs> persistence is the key to success. What would grinding be if I didn't have to search for component kits? All day. 13 vacuum pumps and 13 chests. Finally I can start building the factory. I've got the start figured out, I place one block, I place another block, the sensor triggers the other vacuum pumps and the piston will push the glow bug forward and then the glow bug will destroy the block and those blocks fall down. Well, I've managed to get myself stuck. Great! <laughs> I mean, it's now going the other way. And... It... Works. Alright, seems to work fine. With our gem ups, I'm already producing this. Well, I'm running out of metal again. Oh god. Okay, if everything works now, the piece should... Yeah... Alright! Yes! This could be it. Yes! I did it! I produced it! One heart! Out of my last 16 test runs, zero hearts were correctly assembled. Another day, another grind. I think 20 stacks of cardboard should be enough. Now I just need to automate the factory. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> but it's working. The only thing that's missing now are 8 glow bugs that keep eating the cardboard so the thing doesn't get too laggy. I don't want to imagine how long that's gonna take me. At least my huge tower of scrap metal acts as a lighthouse. You won't believe what I just found. It's a rotation editor level 5. This comes from my 130 burying thing. Ah, I'm already littering the ocean. I'm not pressing anything, the car is driving itself. Those are those glow bugs, I guess. I mean, if people can build a boat with... I mean, if people can build a boat...
<laughs> All right. Number seven and number eight. So I can finally start the factory. Um. Oh god, it's so bad. Oh god, there's so much poop already. I've halved the factory speed. Because otherwise it's just very wasteful. Well, it works. More or less. <laughs> what I like most about my factory is that no piece is ever produced correctly. <laughs> Maybe I should have produced these hearts, they look much easier. One of them died. Okay. <laughs> Do you see it? The first heart that was correctly produced. I think we are done. Just gotta harvest all the poop. 15 stacks of poop. What an achievement. Out of the 200 hearts or so that I produced, I think only 3 or 4 were correctly assembled. I mean, that's 2%. I wonder what I'm going to do with all this poop. Anyway, thanks for watching. This was a shit ton of work, literally. <laughs> and I'm happy I'm finally done with it. I shouldn't be doing those stupid ideas all day. If you like seeing me doing stupid ideas, then maybe consider subscribing, liking, comment, or whatever. Thanks for watching until the end.